welcome welcome everybody so today we are going to be creating these controls for our character using them for morphs so as you can see i just select this and rotate it and voila there we go you know you don't have to go all the way far looking for settings morphs and everything you can just come here and just click and that fun remember to like subscribe comment I won't waste much of your time. Let me show you how to set up this kind of arrangement. First things first. Load object. I have an object here. Yes. This guy here. So I'll change this to back view. Just so that we can see this thing better. Alright. So, while we are here, I will create a now object. So, I'll call this one Blink Master. And I will change this to a ring from standard, the shape. Put it in the z-axis. Point, just say 50 millimeters and i'll put a label on it i'll say blink for now say okay and i'll push t on the keyboard to move it so i just want to move it next to the eyes right here i'll come to my object here i'll push p for properties and i'll add a modifier which is my morph mixer right here double click on it and say we're starting with the blink here so we want to make the blink first so uh, i can cancel that so what i'll do is while my object is selected uh, i'll come here and go to five frames and then add my blink to 100 so his eyes are closed uh what i'll do now is come here to the envelope e for envelope i'll come to modifiers and add the cyclia so on this cyclia i'll just double click on it and then so this is my actual object i'll go to the blink master and what i want is the banking of this blink master which is here the rotation b then I'll change the controller value to uh, where it starts, the degrees, 0. Controller value highest, I'll put it to 90 degrees. And cycle a starting point, so these are the frames. It starts from 0, and it should end at 5. Say OK. And now that we have that, let's test our thing. Select it, rotate, and there we go. So as you can see, I can actually go all the way around. This is actually useless. So what I, was, what I want to do is, I want to put some limits to this. So I'll push M for motion options. Come here, control and limits, then go to the banking. Set the minimum to zero and the maximum to 90. Let's cancel that. So now it creates this ghost version of it, showing you that you can't actually go beyond this. So you've got limits. So now I've got limits. So say you want to add more, and you know this this process is actually long. So what I will simply do here is uh, let's add another one. Say let's add the surprise face. So um, I'll come here. Now object, and I'll say surprise. I'm terrible at spelling, so I hope that's actually the right spelling to it. So I'll make sure I change this to ring Z axis and put this as 50 millimeters. I'll name this as surprised. All right. 
I'll say OK. And push T on the keyboard, just drag so that you're. All right, so I have this one here. And OK, so I've created a keyframe here. So what you can simply do is just select this in the drop track and just pull it back so that it goes back to zero. And what I would do is um, instead of going all the way around, making this again, what I'll just do is uh, I'll create, select, so go to the, I'll start with this, go to the face, uh, sorry, uh, go to your morph, since it's different from mine, and I'll go to frame 5, and he's, okay, that is not a surprise, he's pissed, he's angry. Uh, so, wait, I think I, I think I made a mistake when naming these things. Okay, so we'll say, for example, it's surprised. And, hmm, okay, I'll keep it there. We'll assume it's actually a surprise expression. So, we'll keep it there for now. Um, so on frame 5, we have that. So I'll go to the envelope. So instead of me just going to the envelope here, what I'll do is I'll go back to the eyes, the close, go back to this envelope. So I want the first modifier that I added. So what I'll do is I'll copy this one, cancel that, go back to the face. So to my surprise expression, what I'll do is um, I'll actually just come here and paste it. All I'll do is just come here, M for motion properties, then rotation, banking, set this to 90 and here to 0. We'll just add that and so when I select this, uh oh, we must have done something wrong. Oh. I know what um, so since we just copied and pasted it that means here it hasn't changed because we need to go to our surprise uh, now and select the banking as well say okay so now that should work so you can add as many as you want to this thing uh, you can you can actually add so many even the mouth expressions as well you can you can also do that so uh, say you want to add the r expression and uh, we'll do the same thing for all these so 50 millimeters and we'll call this r say okay t to move and i'll just move it next to this one here and select my object properties let's create that r so mouth and then on frame 5 we've got the r all right you can take it as far as you want then i'll just paste this here double click on it this time i have to change to this one to the R now object the rotation banking we'll keep the rest of the settings say okay and cancel this so this thing is working all right undo motion properties banking same thing zero and ninety All right, it seems I added a keyframe here. I don't want to add a keyframe, so. So you can just grab any of these and just, you know. I don't know if they actually combine, but well. Okay, let me add one last one. Okay, since this thing doesn't have bones as it is, uh, what I can do is, um, I think there's a skeleton in it. So I'll just go to setup and say select this then 
I'll just come here to add more convert skeletons to bones. So I have those skeletons. So if let's say I select this one and rotate the whole head turns. See that? That's a very weird neck turn. But say we want this head turn here. Let's add the same thing. Come back to item now object. Uh, let's add we'll say head turn and change this to our normal settings to our standard ones for now for today and say head turn all right and i'll say okay t to move it i'll just move it here let's bring it here and what i'll do is i'll select this so i'll move it to frame 5 and add that movement uh, uh oh i need to take this thing back to zero rotation uh oh it's not the one it's this one here my bad all right so there's a head turn here so what I'll do is I'll select this one here and I'll push M for motion properties on the IK and modifiers. I'll add a modifier here, but this time I'm adding cyclist here. So double click on this and the settings are similar, almost the same thing. So two frame five and cyclist frame. So from frame zero to frame five this controller so this one i have to pick my head turn so i'm pretty sure it's down 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 head turn in the banking rotation let's see the heading pitch bank angle so we have that control range from zero degrees to 90 degrees and I don't want this thing I don't want this thing to repeat itself when I reach the far end so I want I want this thing to stop when I reach the end say okay well so if I select this thing we have the head turn I will set the, the limits go to the controllers banking same thing 90 and oops 90 here and 0 here all right cancel this all right so thank you for watching be sure to like subscribe and you know i appreciate very much Woo -hoo! we've reached 300 subscribers i'm so happy guys i appreciate i'm honored i don't know what to say i just feel i just woke up smiling just so everybody can know out there but Let's not stop here. Why not reach a thousand? Let's try that. You know, let's reach a thousand subs. All right, guys. Thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, I remind you again, please do so. Thank you very much. Bye bye. I think I said thank you twice. Never mind. Bye bye.